All right, guys, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. I think the undefeated Charger is back. Because when I tell you this Arkansas State Trooper hit 150 and still couldn't see him on the highway, yeah, that's not just a regular RT Charger. It's not a Hellcat, but that's not a regular RT Charger. Something is under the hood of that thing. I think the undefeated Charger is back, man. You guys tell me. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. As you can tell, I'm at a house that makes it the house vlog. You know what's going down. Welcome around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around because you're in the right place. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So I'm not even going to waste your time here. Shout out to my man LRHN Cash. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. All right, so we got ASP. There's your charger right there. Boom. I want you to take a good look at it because that's the last time your ass is going to see it. He took forever to get out, though. He took forever to turn his lights on and go get him. This is one of those situations where you pass a cop and you see him, but it's too late. And it's like, I know he's going to pull out. And see, he's already getting over. So he already knows the cop is coming for him. So now it's game time. But the cop is pussyfooting around. If I was this ASP officer, I would have been on the gas, like, full throttle, going to get him. 75, he's still doing the speed limit. He playing around. Gets off the highway, it looks like. The audio will kick in when he turns the lights on. You thought he got off the highway. No, he did not. Now we talking. Let's get to it. Now you're back on the highway. There's the charger right there. That little glimmer of light. I think that's him. Yeah, that is him. That was him. That's a Durango right there. Don't worry about that. See, this is perfect. Late night. Nobody's on the road. You got a, what, four-lane highway? Perfect. Let's go. One forty four. This is the highway patrol. One forty six. Nothing but open road. Where's the charger at? This officer's doing one forty six on the highway. You still can't see the charger within, you know what I mean? Almost a mile. Where, where's the charger at? Nothing. 147. This officer is turning in an RT at 148 on the highway. 149. Breaks it down. I guess he thinks that he took this exit. Is that him right there? I don't think that's him. That ain't him. 120. 121. 124. Now, I don't know how this officer knows to take these exits because I can't see anything and I know he can't either. Maybe he's guessing. Give it up. Looks like there's an officer over there. Nothing. Nothing. Green lights, nothing. No charger. Doing 8892. Looks like in a city, 95. Give me a hundred. 101. 103. No charger. Goes through the red light. He's chasing ghosts at this point. Is that what the video ended? That's what the video ended.
three minutes into the chase, and it's no longer a chase. He ended up turning his lights off and calling it a day. Straight up called it a day. You know what I mean? I mean, in a situation like that, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I've told you guys in the past, that's where our cars thrive. Our cars thrive at high speeds on the highway. Anything less than that, you're taking a risk. I've seen Hellcats on back roads that because of all the turning and all the torque that's in our cars, you know what's going on. You've seen our cars before. You drive our cars. Let's be honest here. You make that hard turn where you got to slow down to 20, 30, 30 miles an hour, and then you try to gun it, that back end kicks out. If you don't know how to handle that, you're in the bushes somewhere. You know what I mean? Taking police on a high-speed chase in the city, that's not smart. It's not going to work. It's simply not going to work. I'm telling you. But once you get on the highway, though, well, now we're talking. That's what happens there. Now, obviously, I don't condone running from the police. I don't condone police chases, breaking the law, none of that. But I'm simply saying that there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And this is about as right as you can get. On the highway, you've already got a head start on him because he's at a complete stop. You recognized immediately, like the guy recognized off the bat that the cop was pulling out for him because he got off the highway immediately. You know what I mean? He knew the cop was coming for him. There was no ambiguity about it. It wasn't even like he might, you know, sneak up on me type shit. No, he knew the cop was coming off the, uh, the embankment specifically for Charger. And he took off. You saw that Charger for about the first 10, 15 seconds of the video, and then you never saw him again. Think about how fast this guy had to be traveling. For the cop at one point to be at 149, basically 150, and still not even be able to see him. Not even catch him, but at 149, you can't see him. That means that the Charger was doing 150, 160, maybe 170, 180 plus. It didn't look like a Hellcat from the little bit of it that we saw. It could have been a Hellcat. We don't know. It looked like an RT body. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, let's go back. Let's go back and see if that was an RT body. Yeah, so hold on. I'm going to record it here. See that right there? That doesn't look like a Hellcat to me. That, look, that doesn't look like a, a wide body Hellcat. It could be a slim body for all we know. But I mean, once you get to the scats and the cats, they're pretty low. They're like, they're lower to the ground. This looks kind of high. So this looks like an RT body. That looks like an RT, but I mean, an RT pushing... Because I know the dash says 160 on the RT, right? Um, I don't know if you can get to 150 without just having a, a straight stretch of road, which this is. So, I mean, he could have really been at 150. He could have been at 150 and changed the entire chase. I don't know. Or he could have some shit up under the hood of that car. If this is the undefeated Charger, we all know that that's not a regular RT Charger, right? It's got an RT body. But for all we know, it could have a demon engine swapped under the hood of it. You know what I mean? Like, it could have a, a scat engine, a cat engine, a demon engine, helipin engine. We don't know. Because, I mean, just to get up out of Dodge that quickly. And we only saw that charger in the first, what, 10 seconds of the video, 15 seconds of the video. And then after that, your boy's gone? That's not a regular RT there. It may look like an RT, but that's not a regular RT. Not under the hood anyway. But if this is the undefeated Charger, he has struck again and succeeded again and just completely took off on ASP. I really got a feeling that that's not a regular RT because even with scat packs, you know what I mean? They can take off, don't get me wrong, but it's one of them things like you would still be able to see it, wouldn't you? At 150 miles an hour or 149, I know you guys are going to, you know, chop my head off of that. At 149 on a highway, you should be able to see anything for the most part, right? Unless that car is doing 160, 170 plus. In which case, that's a scat or a cat or something bigger than that. I didn't mean to rhyme, but hashtag bars. But I mean, the undefeated Charger, if this is your boy, he has struck again and ASP had lost again. You know what I mean? The undefeated Charger don't play. When the trooper gets up to 149 miles per hour on the highway and he can't see anything and there's no traffic, nothing to slow anybody down. There's something under the hood of that car. That's not a, 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 a RT right there. 375 horsepower, 5.7 liter RT. That's something bigger. False. But if it is the undefeated Charger, you know, more power to him. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got injured. The officer didn't get injured. No cars got damaged. No property got damaged. Just a good old fashioned, I pulled out and I got beat. You know what I mean? I pulled out, tried to chase the Charger and I got beat. So, you know, 
more power to him, man. I hope he doesn't do it again. You know, we don't condone police chases, but I mean, he got this one, man. So the Mopar boys is up one in Arkansas. This happened, what, two weeks ago, as a matter of fact. Two weeks ago, 10, 14, 20, 24. So this just happened a couple weeks ago. This month, at least. So, I mean, you know, this is fresh. As always, guys, undefeated Charger, man. I think he's back. See you guys in the next one. Shout out to LRHN Cash. Make sure you go over there, like, subscribe, comment, see the full video. Well, technically, that was the full video. It was a short chase, so it was a short video. So, as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the next one, man. Peace.